Man, it's cold out there. Always remember to bundle up when you go out, especially if it's in a cold climate. <laughs> People always exaggerate that cold climate weather, don't they? You know, Louie, be careful today. Your skin could freeze in three seconds. Do what I do. Open that window, put your hand out. One, two. <laughs> You're not going to freeze my skin. And snowball fights are great, aren't they? Not until you get hit in the air with that snowball. Ah! No hitting in the ear! Oh, I am not crying! I'm going in, okay? And even though you got hit in the ear, you'd always limp. Of course, your dad knew what was going on. What are you limping for, Louie? Did you get hit in the ear with a snowball? Uh, so when you go out, and you're gonna have a snowball fight, remember, put some uh, protective ear gear on. I ever warm up. Uh, 15 feet of snow, sub-zero temperatures. You can get frostbite by just looking out the window. And what does the fine city of Cedar Knoll do? We have a winter carnival outdoors. There we go. Are you warm enough, Mama? Are you boys ready for the winter carnival? We're not going this year. That's right. We're taking a sabbatical. What's the matter? Did you see the temperature? Only a freak would go out in this kind of weather. Did I hear someone call me a freak? Geez, Tommy, that wasn't nice at all. Don't worry, Dad. He meant it as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, it's a little stuffy in here. <laughs> Close the window. It's freezing. You call this cold? Well, yeah. This isn't cold. When I had to bivouac on that floating glacier for a month, it was so cold my blood froze. That's true. Wish his mouth would freeze. Oh, really? Well, what if it froze like this? Ah! Okay, okay, I take it back. Andy, stop scaring the kids. You know it might not be such a bad idea to take a year off from the Winter Carnival. It's family against family out there. How are the Andersons supposed to win if we don't even show up? But, Dad, last year we came in last. The year before, <sighs> we did even worse. I figured it out. If we don't show up this year, We'll get our best score ever. I don't believe what I'm hearing. It's just that you get so competitive every year. It's not good for you. I don't get competitive. Hey, look at that. My log's burning faster than yours. <laughs> the carnival's supposed to be fun. Listen, I'm in it for the fun. Cutthroat competition, squashing the enemy and humiliating the neighbors. That's fun. Now who's with me? Squash the enemy, cutthroat competition, humiliate the neighbors. That's right. Louie? Hmm, yeah. What he said, twice over. Hey, it's warming up. Oh, yeah, Dad. Hey, Tommy, see that castle? It's made out of candy. It's not. Would I lie to you? Well, Team Anderson, it's time. Off to the races, everyone. Not me. I'm working the skate track. That's a real lot, Grandma. Could have used your muscle pushing my sled. Man, are you all right? Sled's a little heavier this year, isn't it, Mr. Two Dessert a Night? Well, good luck out there. Who said anything about luck? This is all about skill, courage. Yeah, kissing up to the judges. Hey, there's nothing wrong with handing out a few boxes of fine chocolate. Those judges work hard. Has anyone seen Tommy? He falls for that every year. <laughs> Dumb kid. The hell, Greenwald? Are those sled dogs or gerbils? <laughs> Very funny, Jensen. What are those? C and I dogs? <laughs> Remember to take that second turn high on the outside. Don't worry about me, baby. I'll make you proud. Now you two be careful while you're watching your old man bring home the glory. We're covered in 30 pounds of winter wear. How could we possibly hurt ourselves? <laughs> that hurt. Well, if it isn't little Louisiana, how's it feel to know that in about five minutes, my dad's gonna beat the pants off your dad again? Feels about the same as last year. How many times do I have to tell you, son? No concern with the enemy. You call that a snowball, Glenn? Hi, Dad. Obviously, you haven't heard a word I've said all winter. Look at him. He's not even crying. Sorry, Dad. 
<laughs> well, Andy Anderson, going for a new record this year? 15 losses in a row? <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it there, Ben Glenn. Andy, you don't have to take that kind of abuse. Don't worry about it, honey. The joke's on him. It was 15 losses in a row last year. Yeah, yeah, oh, looks like your dad invented a new sport. Winter drag racing. <laughs> what style? What technique? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little tip, Anderson, uh, for next year, you go faster if you're on top of the sled. Well, anyone can stay on top of the sled. I was going for something more challenging. Unique, huh? I'm sorry, Aura. You know, if you want, you could be an honorary Grunwald for the rest of the carnival. Why would I want to do that? Oh, I didn't mean anything by it. It's just, wouldn't you like to see what it's like to actually score points in the carnival? <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you, Kitty. But don't worry about the Andersons. We won 20 years ago, so we're due. You just watch. And when exactly does this miracle comeback begin? <laughs> With the Cedar Knoll Classic. I'll be skating it myself. Interesting. I guess there's nothing left to say except, see ya on the ice. Hi, Jeannie. Hey, Louie. Having a good time? Oh, yeah. It's 150 degrees below zero with the wind chill. Came in dead last in the dog sled race, and I had a snowball for lunch. It's a great day. Whoa, who's that? But don't you remember my older sister, Lana? She's home from college for the holidays. Lana. Yeah, she's on the figure skating team. Jeannie was the closest thing I had to a girlfriend. But Lana? Well, Lana was a woman. At that moment, it hit me. I knew Lana Harper and I were meant to be together. Nothing could keep us apart. Okay, so maybe one thing could keep us apart. How about a skate? Oh, haven't seen that before. My turn. Whoa! Nice try. That was graceful. Ooh, <laughs> impressive. Is there no one who has the grace to skate with me at the ice dance tonight? No one? How about me? Loser! I knew what I had to do. I had four hours to learn how to skate. Well, I'm a ready teddy. Let's get at it. Looks like we'll be racing next to each other. <laughs> oh, not for long. Go! One hot cocoa and put a hat on it. There you go. What's on your mind? Can you teach me how to skate? Now, Louie, I haven't been on skates in 30 years. I just fall and break every bone in my body. <laughs> I already know how to do that. Oh, now there's a teacher for you. Good idea! That'll be 50 cents. Oh, thanks for the family discount. Andy Anderson. 20 years of winter carnival competition, over 15 events per carnival. You know, that's over 400 losses in a row. Good for you, Williams. Finally mastered those advanced mathematics, huh? How do all those losses make you feel, hmm? Fellas, it's all how you look at it. You see, I'm just getting all my losses out of the way. Right up front, you know. Any day now, the tide's gonna turn. So tell me, do you think the ice carving contest could be your event? Some people look at an ice cube and see the way to cool their drink. I look at an ice cube, and I see poetry. Poetry? <laughs> well, somebody tell me what he's talking about. Poetry. <laughs> Why are they making fun of you, Dad? They're just jealous of my gift. Now. You just stand back there and watch this modern-day Michelangelo make some art, kid, huh? Go, Dad! Come on! Chisel like the wind! <laughs> Go, Dad! I love this. I'm gonna win. There. Ta-da, dude. ta -da. Hit the lights, son. Dad! Not now, Tommy. Dad! Thanks, Anderson.
Anderson, you loser. Guess I win. I am the king. <laughs> That's the thing about art. Yeah, it's so fleeting. Look at that. We won. Oh, how proud you must be. You know, I'm sure Marty would be more than happy to give Andy some ice sculpture and lessons during the off season. Oh, Kitty, could you be any more generous? <laughs> Very graceful, Louie. Thanks. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Can you teach me to skate? Good idea. That way we can skate together at the ice dance tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. What do you want to learn first? Well, let's not get too ambitious right away. How about standing? Follow me. Oh, never getting the Olympics this way. Oh, oh, uh, nice slippers. Oh. Hey, quit goofing around, Louie, or you'll never learn anything. Now get up. Listen, uh, I was wondering. You know, as a student of skating, uh, would I have to do anything different if I were skating with someone, I'll say, taller? No, not really. What about skating with someone who's, um, older? Who's what? Older. Well, actually, it is a little different skating with someone taller and older. First of all, you have to skate faster. And then you have to learn how to skate by yourself. That ought to cool you off. Jeez, somebody's cranky. Thanks for the lesson. Move it or lose it, Anderson. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I mean... Wait yeah. a second. I know you. You're Lenny, right? Actually, it's Louie. You're Jeannie's friend, Lenny Anderson. Louie. Right. Well, you be careful now and keep on practicing, Lenny. I'm sure you want to be ready to skate at the big dance tonight. See ya. I couldn't believe it. Unless I was reading something into it, she wanted to skate with me at the dance tonight. She was going to be mine, all mine. It was me and Lana forever. Lana and Lenny. You look like you lost your best friend. Maybe I have. You know, Jeannie, when I was a little girl, I brought my dog to the skating rink at the Winter Carnival. He got lost, too. Want to know what happened? He fell through the ice and drowned. Heavens, no. That didn't happen till years later. No. He went off, chasing rabbits clear across the other side of the pond. Did he catch him? Nope, but he came back. I guess he just had to go to the other side of the pond to realize that he was much happier when he was next to me. That's a nice story. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've had one too many hot chocolates and I'm wearing far too many layers of long underwear, if you know what I mean. I've been there. <laughs> hey, Jensen, bail out now, for I am the chief. Grunewald, please. You could not find water in Lake Michigan. <laughs> this is a chunk of Wisconsin's finest cheddar cheese, sliced by the mayor of Cedar Knoll himself. The mayor sliced the cheese! You hear that, everybody? Yeah, go Thank on, you, Dad. Glenn. Slice All the cheese. Right. Go get it, man. This is it, boy. We got a secret weapon. There's no way we can lose. Uh. Don't worry, Dad. You'll find a way. What's the secret weapon? Meet little Willard here. He's going to lead us to cheese heaven. Mm. But, Dad. The guy said the trunk was made out of bronze. Details, details. Now he's pointing east. Let's go. This is a great plan, Dad. Tell you what. You give me a call when you get to Cheese Heaven, and I'll catch a cab. Pick up the pace there, soldier. No stragglers. Dad, look out! What is it? Lunatic's day out? Peace. It looks like you're skating sometimes. Thank you, all right. <laughs> you should get those eyes checked, all right. My skates were both tied. Double knots as usual. Ah, uh, Peter. I'm landing my feet on the cat. Dad, did that hurt? 
No, it felt like a Swedish massage. Oh, my back. It's the golden chunk of cheese. Dad, you sat on the golden chunk of cheese. That's beautiful. Way to go, Louie. Now give me that. Look at that. <laughs> Time for first place. Gotta say, I never thought I'd live long enough to see this day. <laughs> promises, promises. <laughs> I'll outlive you, Andy. <laughs> uh, you'll outlive the whole human race. <laughs> Just like a cockroach. <laughs> oh. Why so glum, my little golden chunk of cheese boy? Huh? Quit calling me that. Oh, touchy, huh? I don't know what to do about the big ice dance tonight. No partner, huh? Stood up? Rejected? Uh... Just do what dear old dad would do and steal some other sap's date. No, I have a partner. I'm the best partner in town. Then what's the problemo, huh? I'm the worst skater in town. I'm so ashamed. Louie, let me give you a piece of advice that a sweet little gal once gave him. Moi. The Winter Carnival is not about the competition. It's not about who's the best or who's the worst or beating the pants off the neighbors. Unless, of course, it's Jensen, that loser. No, the Winter Carnival is for one thing. Fun, fun, fun. Your mother's right about that. And even though she's not here right now, I can bet you, wherever she is, she's having fun and honoring the spirit of the Winter Carnival. Say your prayers, lady. I owe you. There's nothing more pathetic than our second writer who thinks she's got a shot. I never liked you. You Andersons are what's wrong with this town! Well, maybe you should move! I'll rent you a truck! You know, you're a neighbor and a friend. First tie in season all history. Congratulations. And away, that's my girl. There you go, Laura. That's my girl. We. No, that's my girl. You did it, Mom. Yes. Way to go, Mom. So we tied for first place, and I was about to slide around a frozen lake with a woman of my dreams. And to think, I didn't even want to go to the Winter Carnival this morning. Hey, you ready, Lana? Ready as I'll ever be, Milton. Where have you been? Milton? Mm. I was thrown over for an incredibly suave, good-looking guy named Milton. Hey! Lenny? What gives? We're supposed to skate together, don't you remember? You thought that you and me? Oh, isn't that just the cutest little thing you've ever heard? Is this a new episode for I Love Louie? Buck up there, little champ. Your day will come. Little champ. Louie and Lana sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. <laughs> hey, quit it! He made a mistake, all right? He meant me. He just got the two of us mixed up, okay? Is that right, Lenny? It's Louie. It was the bump on the head that did it. Your friends get weirder every year, Jeannie. <laughs> Give me a call in ten years or so, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage me. Um, Jeannie? Louis? Thanks a lot. And, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, for what? Because... Because maybe you thought you were older than you are? Yeah, that, and I'm sorry for that, and, um... And maybe you forgot who your real friends were? Yeah, that's a good one, too. Yeah, and maybe the person that really wanted to be with you was right next to you the whole time? Really? No, I made that last one up. Come on, Louie. I'll fall. <laughs> I'll help you up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, signals the end of this year's Winter Carnival. Join us next year, folks, when we... Hey, give it a rest. All I've heard is your yakety, yakety, yakety all day. It's my job. Yeah. <laughs> Are you size nine or what? How do you figure? I'm good with feet. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Whoa! The carnival continued long after the sun went down. The temperature probably dipped into the negative 100s. But I didn't care. Maybe it was the skating, maybe it was the company, or maybe it was frostbite. Whatever it was, I didn't feel a thing. For the first time all day, I was warm. <laughs> 